haven't turned anything in, I guess, about a month since I finished the cane. And the reason is because I've been doing a lot of shop stuff. My, we insulated the shop walls, got all those holes patched, and I've been building stuff for the shop, like, like this air cleaner right here, squirrel cage. I built it, I've got two 25 by 16 filters on the back, uh, Merv 11. I've got that set up to keep the dust, the fine dust out of the shop. If you remember, I used to have a portable storage rack there. I moved my metal chop saw back there with the blower. That's gonna move too. I thought I wanted it there. I'm gonna move that to a different spot. The storage rack got moved back there. I hung this webcam. I've tested it, it's working fine. I just need some more audio equipment. I added this monitor to this cart and the PC and everything is connected there. And with that, I can, with that camera, I can hit my band saw, both lathes, my table saw, both workbenches. And if I move the miter, I mean my scroll saw out just a little bit, I can catch it as well. So I've just been doing a lot of shop stuff. Haven't done much else. I also installed a deadbolt on the back door so now I can get out via two doors instead of just one if the need arises. So I suppose it's time we turn something, huh? I just don't know what I want to turn. Well, let's get over to the lathe and by the time I get you over there we'll know what we're doing. I went outside the door and shot scrounging in my pile and I found this really pretty piece of spalted maple that was crotch. I put a flat on this side trimmed off what I thought was a funky piece. It really wasn't. There's checks and cracks all through this. This has been drying for 15 years. The crotch figure is right in here. I've been trying to figure out how I want to turn it. There's a lot of, I say a lot, there's a few inclusions in here. You can see here, bark inclusions. Uh, but there's no, there's no wind shake, there's just some drying cracks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough turn this and then I will fill any cracks and voids with whatever resin I need to fill it with. And then we'll finish turning. It's about 10 and a quarter inches wide, 10 and a half inches this way. I'll probably end up with I'm hoping to end up with a 9-inch bowl out of it, we'll see. Okay, face shield on, let's see what we can do. I've got this mounted on a face plate back here. I brought the tail stock, the tail center, live center up just to give me some peace of mind. Looks like about 425. But I'm not worried about that right now.
of that, and I think I will. I'm gonna fill this with resin, and I'll knock some more of this stuff out and fill this with resin. Before I do that, I wanna flatten the top of this top and get it off the chuck. So I wanna make sure this is flat, and I'm gonna glue it to a glue block. Okay, I've got my face plate nice and smooth. I'll make sure the grains run in the same direction. And I'm going to glue this up and we'll leave this set overnight because I want to make sure it's nice and strong. Well, I didn't get it quite as centered as I thought. You can see it's a little out of round. So, it's not bad. It's just not as close as I wanted. So, I'm going to true this up a little bit. Oh yeah, smoothed it up a lot. There's some bug holes and stuff I'm gonna have to deal with, but that's okay. That's okay. Some of this is bug eating, like right in here. So that's going away anyway. I'm gonna try to save this. This little project's going to take a while. I got a little bit more to take out of down there before I can glue my the inside of my mold in place. I'm going to glue molds in here and then fill the voids with resin.
Okay, that should be good enough. All right, that's all the cutting I'm gonna do for right now. What I'm gonna do now is clean up all of this bark and then I will glue some dams around the inside. So when I get that done, I'll come back. Okay, so I'm gonna let that shellac dry for oh, a good hour. Okay, I've got the dams made and I wrapped it with tape. I hope I've got it glued up enough so that it's not going to leak. However, if it does, I'm prepared for that because I put a two and a half gallon bucket down in my paint pot or my pressure pot. Let me get the resin mixed. Not sure if I have Add a little gold. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, it's holding, so I'll come back in the morning and we'll see what she looks like. So I'm going to fill some more of these voids. I'll come back. I think I'm about ready to smooth this outside up some. glue block that was a piece of waste block that I had glued to here with hot glue it didn't hurt it what I've decided to do <clears throat> I cleaned the hot glue off of here and so I'm going to since this is flat I'm going to true this up and then I'm just going to glue it on the wood glue and let it sit overnight Oh yeah, that's nearly dead perfect out here and close to perfect down there. The only problem is I might have to let this sit overnight to cure fully. This is smooth enough, most of this will sand out. Uh, so we wait. I'm going to go ahead and try to take some of this mass out of the middle.
Uh, that'll do for now. Now I will let it set overnight and finish curing up on the glue block because I'm going to need to be applying some lateral pressure down here. Kind of sand this up. Came off, came unglued. My glue job on the bottom didn't hold, so I, and I don't know why. So I flipped it around, put it in the cold jaws, and was cutting a tenon down here, and it popped off, and it flew over onto the concrete floor and broke this piece right here. You can see it move like that. It broke that loose. It broke this off. It's it's just been giving me too many fits. So into the burn pile she goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Well, unfortunately things don't always go as planned, such as the case of this spalted maple bowl. I tried to save it numerous times. It is not savable. Yeah, I mean I could make a a little smaller dish out of it but the return on investment with the time I've got invested in it is just not worth it so it's time to move on oh oh this this thing here yeah it got me four stitches but it'll be a couple of weeks where I'm back in the studio I'm okay it, it I really am it just got me and uh, but that's all right because I'm gonna be gone for all next week anyway we're, we're going on vacation so we're starting Wednesday so it'll be a couple of weeks before I can get back in the shop. I've got to keep this thing protected because it's pretty sore. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You know, everything doesn't always work out. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, check out my sponsors. Links in the description below. I, I didn't get to use any abrasive paste or anything on it because I never got that far along. Sorry, guys. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please do so hit that bell so you'll be notified when I do have a new video up or when I go live like I did the other day and I, I, I am going to finish that little bowl over there so and I will do that live as well so thanks again come back and see us as always live laugh and love y'all come back